everyone, I'm Liz and this is Vera is my bag. Uh, today I'm going to do a video, a uh, what's in my bag video for this bag. Um, I wasn't going to film any videos this week because I'm traveling to Illinois. Um, the last couple of weeks have been very stressful with my mom who has memory loss. Um, she has called um, a lot, um, upset and crying um, that she's lonely, and even though she does have my stepfather there and, um, my brother and sister are both there. She doesn't remember that she's seeing people. Um, and so she is continually asking me if I will come and see her and, uh, you know, how lonely she is and all that. Um, so I, um, decided that, you know, life is short and you don't know how long somebody's going to be with you. And she um, is going to be 90 this December. So I talked to my husband and we, he was, he said, you know, just do whatever you have to do. Spend as much time as you have, you need to. Um, so you get to see her um, as much as possible. So anyway, I started looking at tickets and ended up booking something for um, the next few weeks I'll be out there. So I don't know how much video I'll be able to do until the end of October, but I thought I would at least, uh, get one more video done. Um, even though I had said on Instagram that I wasn't going to be doing any videos. It's so tempting once I move into a bag that I really love that I want to share it with you. Um, so anyway, it's funny. I see this, <laughs> this guy right here. Um, yesterday I tried to make this video and, um, I noticed he was sitting in the background. I was even aimed a different way and he was in the background. Now he's in the background again. I did not do that. <laughs> I talked it there. Anyway, um, so this is the bag that I wanted to show you. Um, this is a convertible backpack in uh, bittersweet. And um, as you can see, it's got lots of great warm sort of fall colors. Uh, I had seen someone um, post about a convertible backpack on uh, the Facebook buzz group, um, which I used to be a part of, and I'm not now, but I, um, that's a long story um, for another time. Um, anyway, uh, I had seen a post, I think it was over the winter or spring, someone had posted their convertible backpack um, in another color. It was blue and white, I think. Um, and I thought, wow, that's cool. And I really want to look for one. And I tried to look for the color they had, but it was, um, I wasn't finding anything uh, that was in decent condition. So I saw this on Mercari. I think it was Mercari um, for $14. Um, maybe it was Poshmark. Yeah, I think it was Poshmark. $14 plus shipping. And it was like, it was new without tags. And I was like, I'm grabbing that. You know, it's like, I'm glad I kind of waited and didn't um, push myself to get uh, one at the time when that, that post was made. Um, but yeah, so this is a convertible backpack. Um, this is the pattern Bittersweet from 2013. And I really love it because it's got like all of these sort of olive, um, the olive and the gold uh, kind of saffron. We've got a red that's sort of a burnt red. It's not a bright red. And then the oranges and white and black. Um, with the um, sort of hounds, I think it's a hound's tooth is what this is called, the black and white uh, trim uh, pattern and what that's what's on the interior. Um, so I just really loved this and it just gave me all those sort of fall vibes. Um, our weather changed uh, today, dropped about 20 degrees from yesterday. So I've got on my uh, sweatshirt and leggings and uh, I'm all ready for kind of coziness. Um, although when I go back to Illinois, I think it'll be warmer than here. Anyway, so um, this is a convertible backpack. It's kind of a, I think a little bit of a precursor, uh, uh, a generation or two after the little mini purse backpacks that were in the 90s and 2000s, the Mimi. Um, I don't think this has an actual name to it. I think it's just called a convertible backpack. I could be wrong. If I am, leave me a comment down below with the name of this. I would love to know. But it has that sort of, it also has that sort of look of kind of the sling um, um, bags, the cargo slings, where it has sort of this, these long um, pieces that go up to the handle. So it's got the hardware. Um, this is definitely a purse backpack. Um, because it has, um, not the normal, um, sort of fat padded, uh, um, straps. This is, uh, a cotton, just flat strap, um, 
still has the metal, but, but because of that, um, it, it actually, you know, is more of a purse backpack where you're not, uh, it's not super big and it's not, so you don't need those big heavy straps. Um, and I appreciate that. I like kind of a purse backpack with the thinner straps. So it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a regular backpack. Um, and this is also con uh, a convertible backpack because you can remove um, these straps um, if you wanna just use it as a shoulder bag. Um, and you can also um, switch at the bottom here is, a, is clips. And so you can switch this um, over to the other side and basically similar to um, the convertible Midtown back, uh, packs, um, turn this into kind of a sling or one shoulder uh, bag. Um, so you can basically kind of, um, now it's all on the one side and you can kind of take that and use it you know, on your shoulder this way. Yeah, so I like that. I like the idea that I can convert it or take them off if I want to. Um, uh, attached to this, I have a, a little plastic coin purse. I had gotten this when I first started collecting gear last summer. Um, I had found this and, an, and another one in olive, something olive. Um, anyway, so I just threw it on here because it matched this pattern. Um, so I can use that for coins or whatever else I feel like using it for. Um, all right, well, let's... Uh, take a look at what's in the bag. Let me back up here just a little bit so you can see easier. Um, so first of all, um, if I flip this around, um, there's a large uh, pocket in the back. Um, and um, this pocket goes um, all the way down, which is nice. So it's a nice wide, it goes from all the way from one side to the other and all the way to the bottom. So you can fit quite a bit in here. Um, in, and you can see inside here, um, it's got that black and white houndstooth. Um, so in here, I am carrying um, a glasses case. Uh, this has got, um, this is a foxwood. Um, this is in foxwood. So I've got, I, I ordered this from, I don't know if it was the online outlet sale or it was um, Zulily, I think. One of those, um, and I just ordered it because it was so inexpensive, and I got a fox on the front. I was really, really astounded. I actually think this was the, an online outlet sale item sometime in early September, or maybe it was the late August one. Anyway, so that's my glasses case. I can take my driving glasses and my reading glasses uh, and my get my sunglasses in there too, and I decided to put it back here instead of um, in the... Uh, the main pocket. Um, so this is big enough that I could actually put my cell phone in here with it. So that's a good thing too. Um, and I will be doing that. Um, okay, now getting into the main part of the bag. Um, so this has a uh, flap on the front. I really like this sort of uh, big sort of saddle kind of looking flap. It's rounded and has the trim. Um, it's not the the actual trim, but it has you know they've they've sewn in uh, this sort of flat um, border on here, um, and it has a magnetic snap um, closure on the front. So if I open that up, then you can see this is a drawstring um, closure, reminiscent of the Mimi, and also the reminiscent of the um, oh what's that other bag. Oh, I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, anyway, so this is kind of the inside. So we'll talk about what's in here. So this also has a very wide zipper on the back, which is, um, you know, backed up against that other zipper. So inside of there, I have my keys and I have um, a tissue case of package of tissues. So that's it, that's all that's in um, that area. Um, okay, let's talk about what else is in here. So in, it has, two, this bag has that big large back pocket and then it has two um, front zipper 
uh, slip pockets here. So inside of those slip pockets, I have um, my uh, charging cord with um, my butterfly. I want to say butterfly by. I get the two mixed up. Anyway, um, this is a, uh, a cord organizer um, that snaps over that keeps your cord organized in your bag. And this came in like one other, one or two other patterns, which I've never, I haven't found those yet, but I had ordered this uh, last fall. So yeah, so that's my cord. Um, that's all that's in that pocket. And then in the um, other pocket, I have my comb, um, an emery or nail file, um, my hand sanitizer. And normally I would have my lotion in here, but I had taken that out to refill it. So that is not in my bag right at the moment. Um, I also have in here um, my uh, little uh, calendar, my note, uh, soft calendar, hard, uh, paper calendar. Um, and I have, um, this is a um, coin purse, but I'm using it for carrying around all of my extra um, cards and um, store um, punch cards, those kinds of things, medical cards, that's all kind of in here. Um, I think this is a coin purse. It might be actually a small cosmetic because it's lined with a uh, sort of a plastic. But this is in um, rose, English rose. Um, I picked this up somewhere, probably off of eBay. But I, I've kind of loved English rose, but I haven't gotten a bag in it yet because I can't decide what style I want. So I just got a couple of small pouches to tide me over till I find what I want. Anyway, so that's um, extra cards in there. Um, and then I also have my um, cosmetic. This is a small cosmetic. Um, I don't think this is the mini. I believe this is the small. So this is also in Fox Foxwood. Um, this, I don't remember where I ordered it, but it was a kind of sight unseen. So um, this is not my favorite flower, but... Um, it's still Foxwood. <laughs> so I'm actually, this might have been one of the ones I'd gotten from the, the outlet store when they had 70% all off all the Foxwood that they had in their store. So you can see the interior pattern there, all those pretty purple flowers. Um, and this is my asthma spray and pain, pain meds like ibuprofen and Tylenol and um, allergy drops. So I just threw all of that in there. Um... Next is um, my cell phone, my Carson cell phone uh, crossbody in Cat's Meow. I um, I had uh, been on the hunt for some Cat's Meow. Well, actually, I just keep my eyes open. And usually, I'm not going to spend the money to get Cat's Meow. It's just, like, uh, too expensive. But I, this one popped up. It was just had been listed on eBay and I think they were asking $35 for it. And um, I think their shipping was a little exorbitant. Uh, a lot of people on eBay get the shipping kind of too high. Um, I don't think it's on purpose. It, eBay defaults to two pounds um, immediately when you set up a listing. And so if you don't go in and change it, your shipping can turn out to be like $15 or something. So I think the shipping was like 12, which normally this would only cost, you know, about $4 to ship. Um, but I just, I didn't want to let anybody else grab it. So I just paid the shipping, even though it was too high. Um, so yeah, I was excited to, to find a, a cell phone crossbody in Cat's Meow. So this is going to be for my cell phone when I'm carrying it, but I'm recording on my cell phone right now. So I can't, I'm not using it for that at the moment. Um, also in here, I'm carrying my uh, Bedford plaid um, uh, zip ID. Um, I thought that went kind of well with the interior of this. So this is the Bedford plaid zip ID. Um, yeah, so this has my main uh, driver's license and um, credit cards uh, that I use the most. So that's in there. Um, I also have a zip ID that I'm using. Um, this is in, oh, I want to, oh, why can't I, Mod Paisley Pink. I think this is Mod Paisley Pink. 
Um, but I liked uh, that sort of fall kind of feel with this. Um, and uh, this has got my uh, uh, AirPods in here. So I'm just using that for kind of carrying them and knowing where they are in the bag. Um, I'm also, this is the last item in here. This is the, um, I've got a pencil case in um, Pirouette. I think this is Pirouette. Pirouette is from 2009. So it has some oranges and uh, black going on with the gold. So I thought this was kind of a good match. And so this has got my um, little cosmetics in here. Lip gloss, mascara, um, and a little bit of blush. So that's it. That's what's in my bag. Um, again, this is uh, bittersweet in the convertible backpack. And uh, I'm really just uh, thrilled with it um, and what I paid for it and all the, the colors. So that's it. I will see you towards the end of October. Thanks for watching and um, subscribe and like the video if you can. And you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm on my trip. Um, I'll leave my Instagram account uh, below as well in the description. Talk to you later. Bye.